see what Atlanta's got. I think, honestly, part of the issue last night was we went too expensive. You know, I'm going to try and keep it. We're going to try and keep it reasonable. I'm going to try and keep it, you know, kind of modest. Um, I really don't see any point uh, whatsoever in doing more than 2222. I think 2222 is a great, great ceiling to have. Um, keep maintenance up. 09 Chevrolet Impala sound system. Okay. Uh, car runs and drives perfect. I just recently put a new set of tires on about 4,000 miles ago. No leaks whatsoever. AC blows ice cold. Everything works. Also has backup camera. Has a front wheel drive, a 3.5 liter. I am not 100% sure that I trust this. Um, 2010 Camry selling as is in Tucker. This is a front end collision. And the transmissions still work. Don't have the money to fix it. May have to be towed as a coolant leak. May have to be towed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with I'm gonna I'm actually gonna upgrade your May to probably. Um possibly even definitely. And the 2003 Honda Civic, 102,000 miles. We got the flat tire back here. So the ut only the utmost of care has been um, given to this one. Needs new transmission. A $300 fix. Dude, I like, dude, die. Fucking die, dude. 300 bucks for a new transmission. Like, dude, what the fuck? Like, no, absolutely not. No, 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 no. A under absolutely no circumstances, under absolutely no circumstances in any world, universe, state, country, first world, third world, or otherwise, is anybody going to put a, tr a working transmission into a car with a broken transfer for three hundred fucking dollars? Not gonna happen. And then, and 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 then you go out of the way to like oversell the alternator, like. 200 bucks for an alternator, like, honestly, like, if you had said 100, I probably wouldn't have said anything about it, but, like, no, 200, yeah, yeah, a transmission, a transmit, yes, yes, a transmission replacement costs 50% more than an alternator replacement, like, um, okay, so, so, knowledge of, knowledge of, knowledge of car things is a little bit, a little bit short here. Um, and the back rear driver tire needs to be filled and patched. Okay. And also we've got the thing on the door, the side of the door. Uh, low miles. Needs a new train. I like it's good. It's a good car. It's a fine car. Low miles. Like Hondas are built to last well over to, okay, well this one didn't. A hundred, a hundred thousand miles on a Honda is nothing like you, like I, okay. Well, you know, if you really want to say this, that kind of shit, like, okay, say it about one with a working transmission. All right. So we've got some cons with this one. Yeah, we got several cons on Craigslist. And uh, now we've got some some cons. Some cons. Cons. <laughs> that's Craigslist. There are going to be some cons. The shift from first to second gear is somewhat rough. Okay, that's par for the course with these. And uh, all the other gears work perfectly fine. Trans fluid probably has to be changed. Yeah, it's probably possibly more than that. Some lights for HVAC controls are burnt out. That doesn't matter. There's a dent on the driver's side door. Some dings. And scratches masking 200 so we've got two 216,000 miles on it and the transmission is on its way out like these transmissions though they kind of like they kind of like spend a lot of time on their way out i feel like Let's see 2000 geo prism i'm waiting for you to tell me yeah same as toyota corolla yeah right first motherfucking sentence 2000 geo prism like every single ad for a geo prism ever it's the same as a Toyota Corolla, which is true. I mean, it's true. It's just like, man, the reputation of Geo, like every time you ever, like the first thing out of somebody's mouth, every single time they try to tell, sell you one of these, it's the same as a Corolla. Don't worry. It's not, it's not some piece of crap. It's, it says Chevrolet on it, but don't worry. It's the same as a Corolla. Don't worry. Um, the mechanic special. Oh, six. How when was this posted? Four hours ago? Bitch. What does it need? 14-year-old Lexus with 200. Okay, so that's some miles. Vehicle definitely needs repair. So he's going with definitely. Okay, so so pretty straight up here. Transmission and left front wheel needs work. Loud grinding noise. Um, okay. Uh, and check engine light is on. Throwing several codes. Reason for selling. Was hit in the back a few months ago and stopped putting money into the vehicle and let it go. 
$1,800 is not firm, so he's soft and flaccid and willing to negotiate. His car still runs. AC blows out wonderfully. And heat fully operational. Parking sensor still works. Lexus factory backup camera. Mark Levinson audio system still works. However, the subwoofer did blow. There may be a puncture in the back left tires. I've put air in every four days. And I know there's a lot of work to be done, but uh, still a nice car, so willing to bargain. If you drive, I do drive at 20 miles to and from work, but I recommend if you're not a mechanic and can't diagnose what's wrong with the left wheel, prepare to tow. Okay. Uh, that's a very, that's a really honest ad. I like this ad and I like this car. Honestly, that's clean. For 200 gazillion billion miles, like that's clean. All wheel drive, don't care for that. Um, paint color is a little black or is a little dark for my taste, and also a black interior. I don't do black interiors. If this was, like, the right color, dude, if this was, in the, if this was the right color, and look at the neighborhood, man. That that ain't no bullshit neighborhood. Look at that shit right there. I mean, that's, 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 look at the trees, man. Look at the grass is cut, man. Look at that. That's fucking Mayberry Acres right there, you know, over there, Redan. Okay, man, well, okay, so, okay, well, okay, well, he's in the nice part of Redan. Well, we won't hold that against him. Um... Reliable daily driver with cosmetic issues. Yep. So, yeah, this shithole. Ah, I got a B-body in the back. Yep, Caprice 90s B-body in the back. Oh, wait, Ford Focus runs and drives. Great reliable daily driver. Everything works great. Cold AC, warm heat, power windows, dense cosmetic issues. Car is a great daily driver, 149K. Price cheap because of cosmetic damage. Needs to be cleaned some, but you can drive anywhere. Sold by a licensed dealer. What? Or so are we in the? Okay, so we're in the owner section. I'm not even. Okay, so we're gonna go to. We're gonna go to explicitly buy. Oh, 95 Ford Escort. Ooh, with the Yakima roof rack, dude. This is uh, man. Manual transmission, vehicles in fair condition. Most immediate need is new power steering hoses. Other repairs needed soon. Tommy belt, parking brake, back brakes, tune up. It is drivable. 205,000 miles. Somebody, somebody really like 500. Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Like, if you need, if you need, what does it need again? Um, power steering hoses. Oh, pfft, who cares? Brakes. Who gives a fuck? Brakes. You, you know, you're not. You're, 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 you're buying it to get from point A to point B. This one just, it gets, it gets. Like, sometimes you're shooting for point B, and this is your point C car. This is your point C car because sometimes in life, you, you gotta shoot for the stars and. Even beyond. That's like what Buzz Lightyear said to Infinity and Beyond. And if with this car, you know, you're shooting for Walmart, you wind up at Target. You know, that's life, man. You got to sometimes you got to let let uh, let let Jesus take the wheel. No parking brakes, back brakes, yeah, brakes, fuck brakes. You don't need them. Um, but really, though, for 500 bucks, like, dude, no kidding. Real talk. Like if 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 I had $500 cash in my pocket and you told me go buy a car on Craigslist. And, and, and I had 500 bucks to my name and all I needed was a car. Like, yeah, I, I, yes. Yeah. This right here. I, I mean, for real, like these weren't terrible. These were less depressing than a uh, Cavalier. These were, I'm going to go and say, this was, this is a substantially less bad car than a, than a Cavalier. And not that the Cavalier was like an unreliable bad car. Just like depressingly built, like so plasticky, so cheap, so like, what did I do in life to deserve this? And honestly, like, because Ford was so much more of a global company, even by this point, pre-Focus. And like, by, by the Focus, it was like, oh yeah, like, this is the car everybody gets. They're not just like slumming for America. And this, like, I think they sold this in other places. Did I mean, maybe they didn't. Fuck, I don't know. I think they sold this in Europe. I don't really know. But either way, Ford was so much more global from the 80s on compared to GM that like their philosophy towards small cars compared to GM and Chrysler was just so much less like sad. Um, like this, it, it look, man, it ain't, it ain't Japanese. It's not. Um, but for an American car and, and also like the fact that this dude put a roof rack, a Yakima roof rack on it, dude, nobody, nobody who like gives, nobody who gives zero shits about their car is putting a y Yamaha, whatever the, Yakima, who the fuck, whatever, it starts with a Y, roof rack on it. Two Avalons for the price of one in Covington. That's a nice looking car. That's a nice looking car. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So I don't see two Avalons. I only see one Avalon, but the one that I see is O2 for sale. Um, and a 99 included for parts. So dude, friend, man, those aren't compatible. Those are two different cars. Like 
Yeah, they share some parts. Like, the engine's the same. The engine's the exact same. Um, or is it even? No, because it got um, variable valve timing for 2000. Like, in addition to being a totally different chassis. Um, so, no. A 99 Avalon is included for... Okay, that's going to be great for parts for your buddy who also has a 99 Avalon. But if you... and But, okay, but that doesn't... It doesn't matter. Like, buy them both, whatever, if the guy wants... Sell the 99. You don't need it. You don't want it. That's not compatible. It's a, just... Get, get a few hundred bucks for it. But this one needs suspension work. Um, and, okay... Need suspension work. Like, look how clean this bitch is. Look at, look how clean this thing is. And leather seats, like, man, leather seats are going to let you know if the car has been, like, road hard and put away wet for many, many miles. And, like, that, that driver's seat, that should tell you all you need to know. Plus, it's got the memory and the, um, this is like a nice Avalon. Look, it's got the wood grain on the dash. It's an XLS. I mean, dude, undersold. Five hours ago, that shit's going. That shit's flying. Chrysler Voyager. So this was like when they um, ditched Plymouth and they were like, but what are we going to do with about the Voyager? <laughs> like, oh, just completely ignore the fact that the Voyager is nothing more than a name slapped on the already existing Dodge Caravan. But, oh, but if we ask Plymouth, who's going to sell the Voyagers? Uh, They never needed to sell the Voyagers in the first place because Dodge was already selling them. The Voyager was a completely purposeless, just... It was it was it was a marketing exercise to give something to a brand that had nothing. Like what where on earth was the logic? Where on earth did the logic come from that oh no, this pointless brand that we only gave cars for the sake of giving it cars is now gone and we didn't actually need it to give it these cars or and we didn't even need to make these cars. Who is now going to take these cars that we only made because somebody had to take them like do you see what I'm saying? Like, they did this for, like, uh, like two years, like, after Plymouth was axed. And they they, they they gave the Voyager to Chrysler. And it was, like, um, because... And, oh, oh, yeah, and even the town and country. Like, they already had the Dodge Caravan and the Plymouth Voyager and the Chrysler town and country. And then they axed the Voyager. It's like, oh, no, how... We can't miss out on this market segment. Like, dude, you already have... Two rebadges. No, you have three rebadges in addition to this one, right? And you're already left with two of them. Oh, 319,000 miles. That's, man, wow. Okay, so I'm impressed now. Six hours ago. Dude, there's so many gems tonight. There's so many freaking deals tonight, man. 200 bucks for a... Does it run? Mechanic special or junk removal. Runs. Runs. Okay, runs. Four letters. That's the only four letters. That needs a tune-up. Dude, it could, like, have a portal to fucking hell opened up in the back seat like i don't care runs r-u-n-s two hundred dollars it's it's a steal it's golden like they could have like everything could be broken everything could be wrong if the if the thing like starts and runs if it'll get from like one parking spot to another that's all i need to know to know like okay 200 bucks yeah sure because that's i mean because that's it's worth that in scrap it's a minivan it's probably it's probably weighs close to four thousand pounds. Let's see, transmission pan leaks but needs a gasket change. That's not even a problem, dude. It's feed and bleed. You're if you're putting a quart in every week, man, you're keeping that fluid clean and cherry and fresh. That's um for a for a old sloppy old bitch like this, man. Transmission leaks? Dude, it's a fucking it's a selling point. Roof liner needs replacing. Oh yeah, in a two hundred dollar car. Somebody's gonna really fret about the headliner. Somebody's gonna buy this. To, like, uh, haul scrap metal around or put, like, rooftops on or do some, like, landscaping bullshit with it. Like, somebody's going to buy this as a utility vehicle. Nobody gives a rat's ass about the headliner. Like, the runs but needs a tune-up and the transmission leaks. If that's, like, that, I mean, if that's if that's the worst you can say about it, you're, you're really not doing that bad. 95 Lincoln makes the ladies think I'm a preacher. 94 f-150 eight cylinders seven hours ago dude there's so many freaking gems tonight like remind me to always look at craigslist on saturday night like apparently this is this is when you do it oh my god that interior man like he's got like he's got a whole rummage sale full of just um life stuff transmission but in three months ago needs a math and a bracket to hold passing gear on transmission it needs a okay so uh okay huh let's let's back up let's back let's back up just a little bit here needs mass air sensor 
and brackets to hold passing gear on transmission uh and battery okay so and battery we can deal with we can deal with and battery in a minute um um i i'm not even sure how to step into this one needs a mass airflow sensor and a bracket to to hold okay so okay located in wellington needs radio put in transmission put in is not electrical like new ones in a 302 okay 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 so so okay so we got it we got this um so all right so what what i'm i'm trying to figure out is needs mass uh, airflow sensor and bracket to hold to hold passing gear to hold the passing gear on the transmission like are are we like with the pictures are we going to get any clues to like um what what that what that means that's just so cryptic like um okay okay yeah okay yeah no 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 i don't okay so so i don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about okay so we're not we're not gonna figure that one out we're not gonna solve this one tonight um 2002 nissan Sentra Gixi with uh, 150,000 miles who the fuck comes up with these letters let's see okay we got the perfect ultima perfect ultima this is a scam okay so i don't need to click on this this is a scam um and what what the heck is this like i like the lightning bolt man like dude cool and the colors blue and orange for lightning bolt like that's like that's nice i like that um so and again like this is a scam but let's see what he has to say i put the car in my sh i put the car in the shop for myself but I'm about to move out of state and don't want to pay for shipping it. Keyless entry. Um, interior in great condition. Just needs a little paint on the roof. But other than that, great running car. Needs on Ultima in good condition and it runs. Um, okay. So, yeah. Centra of Riverdale. Why is it always Riverdale? Why is it always, always Riverdale? Always. Always. Always Riverdale. Yeah. See that? Riverdale. Always. Always Riverdale. See, split folding rear seat. Yeah, so no. So, scam. Okay. That's going to be a scam. Um, 2004 Lincoln LS. Good transportation. 130K. Recent mission. 7,800 cash. Nice and very cheap. Reliable. What is it? Oh, 90, 90 something. Accurate TL. This is, this is kind of cool. This is Acura. Was this a hard top? It kind of looks like a hard top. I don't think it was. Um, nice looking cars. Here is a nice and very, very, oh, dude, where can I drive it to? Aren't you? Oh, yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as I, because I, I, as soon as I see somebody say, here's a nice and very dependable, very, very, he always says very, it's, it's this one dude. And I've seen a gazillion of his ads because he has a million ads on Craigslist always. And he has for like years. Um, as soon as I see the, here's a nice and very, very dependable, like I just cut to the, because he always comes up with like a different city. Every single car that he says you can buy today and drive it away, drive it right away to whatever city. Like he always comes up with like a new city for every car. Um, the one I saw last night was Detroit, Detroit, Louisville, um, two thousand. Oh, Conley, mm, mm. Riverdale's, Riverdale's, Riverdale's kissing cousin, Conley, twenty two hundred Burgundy. A motor and transmission are great and awesome. LED light bar has check engine light on. Temporary tags and Camp Creek 94. Okay, so now this is stuff from last night. Yeah, this is stuff from last night. Yeah. Okay. Suzuki XL7. Four door towing. Towing. Yeah, towing. Has a leak from the oil pan, remote starter, and alarm. Let's see. Ford Escape. Here are the keys to my Escape. Let's see. New spark plugs, wiring, car has some engine issues, will not crank, can be fixed. Well, if you have enough money, anything's possible, right? 08 Dodge Durango. 160 needs motor. Okay, has new rear end, new battery, no dents, and uh, it's got a full size spoil. Okay, so uh, 800 bucks or best offer. Uh, mechanic special, clean title on hand, new spark plugs, and ignition coils installed a half a year ago. Installed a half a year ago. Yeah. A uh, new alternator battery, two years, fuel pump, regular oil, and um, let's see, needs new main relay. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
no, 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 it does. No, no, no. Don't ever. No, no, no. Look, okay. No, it doesn't just need a main relay to fix. Like, th no, no, don't ever, don't ever touch anything being sold by anybody who says any fucking thing like that. Because if you had diagnosed that, like, it's a lot of diagnosis to narrow it down to a relay, which usually it's not a relay. It's just, like, the cheapest thing you can, um, it's the cheapest thing it might be. So you immediately go to that with no diagnosis. If you had gone all the way through the trouble of diagnosing it and figuring out the relay was dead, you would have already spent the 55 bucks and replaced the relay. I mean, fucking, no, fuck off with that noise. Like, don't, don't ever, ever catch me with that bullshit on craigslist ever like you are you are so dead to me car runs and drives has a knock in the motor uh ac see that's that, like whatever dude like okay the motor knocks like just tell me uh 92 chevy 4.3 b6 what the hell is a b6 v oh v6 nice oh man that is like that is the most that dashboard looks like the fucking Constitution was written down on it. Dude, that, that is one of the most weathered, tattered, um, just experienced dashboards I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, that is just... I have never seen... I, have, I, I, I think I can honestly say I have never seen a single dashboard on any vehicle ever in my life with so much character. That's, that is God's honest truth. Just... I can, I can, you can't even count all of the different, like... There's just so much to say about that dashboard right there. Clean title. I am waiting for it to get sent in my name. Speedometer does not work, so I do not know the actual mileage. Throttle body, so you have to pump the gas before cranking. Um, okay. AC does not work. It has a leak from the condenser hose, so you may need a new condenser to get AC going. It's a good point A to point B truck. The inside is what you expect from a truck of that year, but I do have photos. Like, okay. Yeah, what you expect of a truck from that, like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say it's, oh, it's front-wheel drive, so so that's interesting, that's neat, that's unique. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to say that interior is is above and beyond, oh, and dude, the fro pick, man, like, on the little, like, mini shelf thing that's hanging down, I don't even know if that's a shelf, I just think it's, like, some shit that fell down, and now it's shelf, now it's a shelf now. 1998 Ford Econo line, Lithonia, missing the cats, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lithonia. Yeah, the cats are missing. How'd that happen? Uh, yeah, you know, Lithonia, you know. Just just Lithonia things. Just Lithonia stuff. Uh, 2000, Chevy Camaro. Let's see, what is this? 04, BMW 7 Series. Um, posted four days. Um, no. No, that's a scam. How have they let this be here for four days already? Like, no take that down like somebody 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 police craigslist i'm too lazy to do it like somebody somebody please flag that shit like that's four days four days is way too long for a scam like that to sit uh needs a battery as is sebring and the cheap and nice and i already looked at this and taylor's pays cash for uh, the 03 galante with no mechanical problem at all ac blow cold in your face also, 30-day warranty will make a nice back to school in your face. It'll blow in your face. Your face. In your face. Fucking Galante. In your face. The last time you took it in the mouth, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know why. So, many, many moons ago. Well, not that many moons ago. Like, five years ago. I had to go through training to be a first responder... Um, like a first aid person, and um, there was this one, uh, there was this one really like um, ratty little guy in the class. Um, anyway, so like the instructor was like this this big black guy, and he was very um, like he was very he was just a very like he was a he was a loud character, and um. And, like, there's some acronym we were supposed to memorize. Like, these are, like, the five things that you ask somebody when they're having an issue or some shit. And it was, like, it was some acronym, like, FAST or SMILE or, or SWIM or, I don't know, it had an M in it, right? And the instructor's, like, going through the class, like, you, what does 
the first letter stand for? Oh, it stands for, um, you know, secure the area. And like, what's the next letter stand? Oh, it stands for, um, uh, take their pulse or whatever the fuck, right? And well, one of the things was M, and it it stood for, um, uh, mouth. Like it stood for mouth. Like what is the last thing this person ate? Like that's one of like the the big five things that you are supposed to figure out. Like when somebody's having an emergency, a medical emergency, you. One of the first things you ask them is you figure out what the last thing they they ate, like or consumed, right? And so, so, so there's this one guy, really dopey, very dopey individual, like just like, oh, hey guys, hey, my 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 internet is everybody voting for Trump tonight? Cause you know it's today's voting day, and you know my girlfriend, if I'm voting for Trump and. My my girlfriend from the internet, she 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 would vote for Trump too if she was a registered voter. Like so this is guy's just like the the lamest, like dopiest person you could imagine. Um and like the instructor gets to this guy and asks him, You, what's the M stand for? And he's like, Oh, oh and he's like trying to figure it out. And he's stumbling around. He's just like a really just like a fucking rag doll, just like the like <laughs> the kind of person that this like this ex firefighter, ex fire chief, big black eye instructor would like, if we were in any um, situation like outside of work, like beat the shit out of this guy. But, anyways, so the instructor guy is like getting tired of this guy, is like stumbling around and being a dope. And he finally goes, The last time you took it in the mouth! <laughs> like. <laughs> And he didn't say the last time you took it in the mouth, motherfucker, but like you could feel the motherfucker at the end of that exclamation. The last time you took it in the mouth. And as soon as that was out of his mouth, like he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't, uh, we're not going to HR. We're not going to HR. Uh, we're, we're good, right? We're cool, right? We're not going to HR. <laughs> it's like, fuck. I will just, that's like, what, it's like what, just one of those memories you never forget. In your face. Ice cold AC in your face. Last time you took it in the mouth, motherfucker. Let's see. Ford Focus Wagon. 1700. Okay, Focus Wagon. Huh, let's, oh, look at that. Focus Wagon. Okay. Um, let's see. 09 Dodge Caliber Sext. Sold as is. Always the Sext. This cash car is being sold far below value. Oh, oh, it's just, oh dear. It's it's far below value. It's, it's just, oh man. Book value on these puppies is just, yeah. I just oh you know it's oh Kelly Blue Book yes because yeah they're 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 always they're always right on the money. Um, car's a great engine, five speed transmission, excellent gas mileage, all electrical work great. Car's being sold at a low price because there are some issues that need to be addressed such as check engine light on, may need the freon recharge, and I can't find the you can't find the okay so <clears throat> I can't find the title yeah no yeah no 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 how many miles hundred it doesn't matter how many miles because these like these this like doesn't even matter how many miles are on these things they're they're Ship box is like new. They don't, it's not, no, it's not below value. There is no value for a title list car. Like the effort that you have to go through to get a title for this stupid piece of shit is worth, is no, not even worth. Like if you gave this to me, it's a Dodge, whatever the hell they called that thing. I don't even know. Manuel need fuel line replace and rear brakes drum. I have brakes and also has rust on quarter panel. So the rust, okay. So the rust is going to be definitely one of your, one of your smaller concerns. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Ooh, this is really clean. Acura RL. So is this a scam? Yeah, this is a scam. Yeah, so this has, that's a scam. Oh, man. Why are the pretty ones always so dumb? 92 Dodge Van, 500. Uh, used Dodge Van, uh, 250 runs well. Transmission bad, just no work, man. I'm not going to put the money in. Uh, 300 bucks or m must be 300 bucks or more. So, okay. So you've already said you would take 300 bucks. Like, why is anybody going to offer you more? Like, oh, oh, 300 bucks is, is, is necessary. Like more than 300 is optional. Like, are you expecting somebody to fucking tip you for this van? <laughs> like if you say 300, if you say, if you say your price is 300 bucks or more, like, Guess how much you're getting for it, dude. Like you're you're not it's not gonna be more than three hundred bucks. Like, why say that? I have two I I have two first gen DMS cars, so or well he means D DSM. I have two first gen DSM like what a weird fucking thing to be into. And people are into these. Like a DSM car. Like why like by the point that by the point that you like 
you even like feel the need to uh, whatever like why what why I, like why there's other cars out there that you could be into there's actual good car- and and uh, just why i have two first uh, like and people like people okay i've never driven one so like maybe i'm just ignorant which i'm sure i'm totally ignorant about these cars like i don't i, I just all i know is like why <laughs> i mean like why like why it's a it's a diamond star mo- like and 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 diamond star motors like yeah mitsubishi and mitsubishi fucking came in chrysler and probably came in chrysler's ass and this was the child that was born of like why is this something to celebrate like why even like talk about it like it's a real car like by the time you say like oh it's a first gen dsm like no just dude like don't even like why even i mean just why both are turbo five-speed manual the all-wheel drive Eagle Talon TSI has 132,000 miles on it. A lot of upgrades include ECM Link V2. Like, why? 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 Why do you care? Why are you expecting anybody to care? Like, why? How? Like, so much care. Like, so much care. Look how shitty this car is. Look at what a piece of just um, trash. Look at this is just the embodiment of garbage. And... I don't even want to think about all the time and man hours and effort and thought that's been poured into making this, these, because he's got two of them, what they are, like, why, why, when, it currently has a second gen Mav, like, why, why, why do you do any of this, why, it's an easy fix, but I don't have time to fix it, price himself ass, like, so how much do you want two grand, like, just why, like, there's actual good cars out there, like, there's things that you could, um, that I just, I mean, like, why, why, why are, why do people like get into these? Cause people are into these. Like this guy's clearly so into these, like so into these, he's so into them. And this, this is what he's into. Like, look at this. This is like what, like when people like ask him, like, what do you like? Oh, I like cars. Like what kind of cars? Like this is his answer. And like, I I'm, I'm terrible because like, I like Cressida's, which is pretty bad, but at least like a Cressida, like for fuck's sake is like, and uh, I mean, good. I mean, but this isn't even like, I, I mean, I'm just saying, man, for all the time you put into this, dude, a couple shifts of overtime and you could have like just bought a fucking decent car. I don't get it.